Hey, if you're getting this message, it means you don't have enough memory on the MV. The MV ships with 128 megabytes of memory. And so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to upgrade this box to 512 megabytes of memory and show you how to do it. First, you have to shut down. Once you shut down, you're going to need to disconnect all the cables. The MV is a very sensitive piece of equipment. Look at your operator's manual on page 323 and it describes everything that you should be doing uh, with regards to safety. And if you screw this up, it's on you, not on me. I've turned the MV over and on the bottom we're going to remove 16 different Phillips screws using a number two Phillips screwdriver. Um, it is not a magnetic screwdriver. You should never use magnetic screwdrivers with electronic components such as MV. We're going to take those screws and we're going to put them into a bowl so that we don't lose them. And um, then we're going to stick in our memory. Okay, I've removed the 16 screws and I've placed them in the bowl here. And I'm um, also noticed that there are still a few hexagonal screws that are left in there. Those are intended for the board. You should not remove those. Now before I open this box, I need to discharge the static electricity that might be accumulated on my body. And that's especially important in uh, areas where it's hot and you have the heater running. So I'm touching a, a metal object here so that I can discharge myself. And then I'm going to proceed to pull the top off of this thing. And BAM! There it is! Memory power! 512 megabytes DIMM PC 133 SD RAM whatever all that means this is the memory we're going to put in this thing I'm going to rip this open it looks like it's from a manufacturer called Centon which I can't seem to get it up right <laughs> that's what she said anyway uh, so I'm going to rip this thing out and then we're going to put it into the MV okay now for a quick tour of the board here's a hard drive and down here we have the actual CD-ROM drive and here we have um, several different logic processors I'm not sure what's, which ones are the CPUs or not um, some of them are probably digital signal processors that, that convert your analog to digital and digital back to analog um, and then uh, over here you can see these little round things are called capacitors. They hold charges and it's very technical. I wouldn't, I don't want to go into it. Uh, and then uh, in here we have the, the different adapters that, that, you know, you plug into um, to convert sounds and MIDI and uh, all the rest of it. And then the piece that we are really after, this is the memory card. We want to pull that puppy out. And so you can see me flicking these two little switches and it basically pops that memory out of there. Boom! This is 128 megabytes of memory that ships with uh, the MV. Okay, this memory will only go in in one direction. Um, and what I mean by that is on the left hand side you'll see that there's a, a notch underneath my finger. Uh, and then in the middle there's a notch. And um, you'll notice that there's no notch on the right hand side. So those notches basically align the thing so that you don't put the card in backwards. And so I'm going to go ahead and try to get this in here. See if I can do it with one hand while doing camera work at the same time. There we go. You can hear it pop in there. And then the other side should do the same thing. There we go. Boom. Now we have 512 megabytes of Okay, so now it's time to put the top back on this bad boy. And you'll notice that I have the sticker up in the top left corner. That's uh, marked to indicate that we've got it back on in the right spot. Um, also, you notice that you can see the hex screws show up again through the little holes that, that are in the bottom of the base. See? The same screws are still there. Alright, now we're going to put the screws, 16 screws, back into this. Okay, thing. I've plugged everything back in. I'm going to turn on the power and if it blows up and goes up in smoke like in the old sci-fi movies and you get a good laugh. Um, if not, then uh, you get a good lesson. Oh yeah, looks like it's booting up. That's like a good sign. 
Okay, it looks like everything seems to be working. And now for the pest de resist, Charles. I just need to verify. And you also notice that um, I've got 302 megabytes free. Um, whereas before I only had 0.2 megabytes free. Reading my patch for preview. And... Bam! No, I can add sounds. Cause I've that was pretty easy, right? And give me a holler, shout, you know, whatever. Give me, shoot me an email, do a rating, give me some comments, whatever. Um, I'm, I'm happy to hear, entertain any questions. I um, also wanted to give a shout out to uh, Wayman Tisdale and his family. I know uh, Wayman, you guys are going through, um, you know, your, your your struggles with cancer and everything. Just want you to know that um, our prayers are with you and your family uh, during this time. Uh, we appreciate your contributions to the community. Um, you're a great basketball player and you're a great jazz musician. Peace.